We really should be getting on. Relax, will you? He's coming from South London, not South America. Well, there's quite a lot to get through. Yeah. Did Frank say why he wanted all this done in here, in the Vic? Actually, he did, yes. Sorry, sorry. Where's Liam? Oh, that's a $64,000 question, that is. Didn't you see him? Oh, I saw Bianca for about five minutes until she disappeared. They're moving or something. But he is OK. Oh, I don't know. You know. She was in a really funny mood. Whatever she said, it just didn't make any sense. Only we've got a lot to get through here. You know, like the lady said. That's right. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, that's just what we want to know. So, now that you're here... Well, the first thing he wanted was to give each of his children a gift. I've kept the one for Claire in the office, but the one's for Ricky, Diane and Janina here. Oh. Um, Janine? Thank you. Okay. Ricky. There you go. And there's this for you. Oh, no, it's my first toolbox. When I was an apprentice. I thought I'd lost that. These are my drawings from school. Oh, look. There's loads of them. And... <laughs> oh, these are those handmade cars I used to do for Christmas. What's this? That was your grand's. When she started to lose her memory, you told her to write everything down in black and white so she wouldn't have to try and remember. Right. She was really touched that you were so concerned about her. Every night, the pair of you would just sit up, writing in her diary. So what did you get? Oh, it's just a photo, wedding stuff. And there was one more for the landlady. Oh. Oh, for me? What's it say? It just says to get in a round of drinks. Final toast, goodbye. And there's one last thing too. Mr Butcher's ashes. I understand they were being delivered back to the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. They came earlier on, yeah. Did they? Yeah, well, I put them under the table in your way. Oh, very respectful. Well, Melinda's squeamish. Well, Mr Butcher would like them scattered out in the gardens with as many of his family there as possible so he can rest in the place he loved, surrounded by the people he loved. And that's it? I mean, what about Dad's estate? Well, to tell you the truth, after Mr Butcher's debts were settled, well, he did owe rather a lot to customs and excise, there wasn't really any sort of estate. Bet there was enough left to pay your bill. You mean all this has been for some old drawings, some... Spanners and a mouldy old diary left by some dotty woman. And a round of drinks. Hey, uh, hold on, where are you going? Anywhere but here. Well, what about Dad's ashes? Tip them down the toilet. Janine, 